In a previous video, we derived the expression for calculating the image distance and the image height. The only problem with this formula is they may not work for all the cases because we derived it for a concave mirror for a real image. They may not work for a virtual image, we don't know. They may not work for a convex mirror, again, we don't know. In this video, what we'll do is we'll use a trick and convert these specific formulae, which works for specific case, into a general formula. which will work for all the cases, for any mirrors that we want, convex, concave, virtual, real, anything. We will not explore why the trick works, because it's just a convention, we'll not explore that, but we'll see what that trick is and how to use them in problems and solve them. Right, the trick is this. Let's first get rid of these rays, we don't need them. All right, we'll imagine that this whole setup is on a graph sheet, okay? And whenever we have a graph sheet, you will have an x-axis and a y-axis. Our x-axis is going to be the principal axis over here, and wherever the x and y-axis meet, we call that as the origin, right? So we're going to always choose our pole as the origin. So let's write that down. So that's one thing to always remember. The pole is going to be the origin. And in this formula, instead of thinking of these as distances, we'll imagine these are the values of the positions. So F can be thought of as the value of the position of the principal focus. Similarly, V is the value of the position of the image, and U, similarly, is the value of the position of the object. The reason is if we think of, it, we think of these as positions, then in a graph, positions can have both positive and negative values. So these numbers become sign sensitive. So if we build this formula with appropriate signs that we have over here, then we'll end up getting the general formula. Now to get the signs, we have to choose one direction as positive and one direction as negative, right? Well, we're always going to choose in any problem, we'll always choose the incident direction as positive. All right, so over here, notice the object is here and the, uh, the mirror is over here, and therefore the rays of light, the incident rays are going to be towards the left, which means in this drawing, we will choose the left direction as positive. Now what this means is all the positions to the left of the origin will be positive positions, and all the positions to the right of the origin will be negative positions. Now, all we have to do is write this formula with their appropriate signs, and that formula will then be the most general formula that can be used anywhere. All right, so let's include signs over here. Let's start with the principal focus. This focal length represents the value of the position of the principal focus, but notice the principal focus is on the right side, which is negative. So this value would be negative. So this is a negative value. Similarly, what can we say about V? Well, V is the position of the image, which is over here. Again, that's negative. U is the position of the object, which is, again, negative. So now that we have included the signs over here, this now represents the most general formula. But of course, if you have negatives everywhere, you can just multiply the whole thing with minus sign and get rid of the negative sign. But whatever it is, we have now taken care of the sign, and therefore, this now is the general formula. So we're going to remember this as our mirror formula, and we can use this formula for any cases. And we'll look at a couple of examples. Mirror formula. All right, similarly, we have to do the same thing over here. When it comes to heights, we're now dealing with the vertical direction, right? So these are the vertical direction. So we need another sign convention for the vertical. We're always going to choose uh, all the positions above, or all the heights above the principal axis as positive, so let's do it like that. Above the principal axis, we'll call it as positive heights, and below the principal axis, we'll call it as the negative heights, okay? So let's now put signs over here and make this formula general. Hi is the height of the image. That's below the principal axis, so that's negative. Ho is the height of the object, which is above the principal axis, so that's positive. I'll not write that. V is the image position. And when it comes to position, we have to come back to our horizontal axis, and that's negative. Image position is negative. U is the object position, which we already know. Again, it's negative. We can, this negative and this negative cancels, so this goes. And if you multiply the whole equation by minus one, we can bring this negative sign over here, and there we have it. This now is the general formula which can be used for any mirrors and any cases. And by the way, 
This ratio of height of the image to height of the object, we give a name, we call that as the magnification. So if the height of the image is five times the height of the object, then magnification we'll say is five. Makes sense, right? Five times more. And so we'll call this formula as the magnification formula, which can be used now for any, any general case. So this is magnification formula. All right, let's take a couple of examples to get the hang of this. Let's look at the first one. So we have an object in front of a concave mirror. We're not gonna solve this. We'll just see how to, you know, how to use this formula with sign conventions. So we know the object distance, we know the focal length, we need to figure out the image distance. So let's use the mirror formula with signs. To do that, first we have to treat, we first we have to find our origin. Our origin is always going to be the pole, so this point is our origin. The next is to figure out which direction is positive and which direction is negative. Well, we'll always choose the incident direction to be positive. Over here, the incident direction is towards the right, and therefore the right side is positive. So all the positions to the right over here are going to be positive positions, and all the positions to the left of this are going to be negative positions. So these are going to be negative positions. All right, now let's substitute over here and see what we get. Well, one over the focal length. The focal length is 20 centimeters, but notice that the principal focus is on the left side, so that's negative 20. That's going to be equal to one over the image distance. Well, we're not going to put any signs for the image because we don't know what it is. We'll get the signs in the answer finally. Plus one over u, u is the object position. Notice the object is over here, it's a negative. So the object position is five centimeters minus five. And that's it. If once we have this, it's all algebra, we just have to figure out what V is. And we can do that, but we'll not do that over here. And if V turns out to be a positive number, it means it's on this side. And if V turns out to be a negative number, it means on this side. And that's how we can interpret the signs of our V. And once we get the value of V, we can plug it in this equation, and we can calculate what the value of the height of the image is. Similarly, if the height of the image turns out to be positive, it means it's above the principal axis, it means it's erect, and if the height, so it's a virtual image, and if the height turns out to be uh, negative, that means it's below the principal axis, that means it's inverted, and that's a real image. So just by using signs, we can understand all the properties of the images. Okay, let's take one more example. This time we have a convex mirror, and again, an object is kept in front of it. It'll be a great idea to pause the video and see if you can try to write the mirror formula with the signs, substitute over here with the signs yourself. All right, let's do this. Again, here's our pole, so that's going to be our origin. Then incident direction has to be positive. So over here, the object is here, and the mirror is over here, so the incident direction will be towards the left. Therefore, all the positions to the left of the origin are going to be positive positions, and all the positions to the right of this is going to be, are going to be negative positions. Okay, let's substitute. One over F, one over the focal length. Well, focal length is the position of the principal focus. Now, the principal focus is on the positive side. So this focal length is going to be positive number. So one over 15, that's going to be one over V. Again, I don't know what the value of V is plus one over u, well notice u is the object position, it's on the negative side. So that's going to be negative position. So minus 10 centimeters. And there we have it. Again, we can solve for v, and depending on the values of the v, we can understand whether it's on the positive side, this side, or on the negative side. And similarly, we can calculate the height and do the same thing. So we'll solve a more rigorous problem in another video.